I'm not good with measuring and ingredients and all that stuff. So maybe why, why am I cooking and baking then? Anyway. Hi, how are you? My name is Taylor and this is the first time I've made a video in about three years. This is for my Sassy Scran Instagram account, which of course you should follow if you don't already. Basically, I used to run, I used to run, I used to film YouTube videos called Taylor Tries where I cook things, so I thought I'd start it up again as I have a million cookbooks and I need to use them because I don't. <laughs> uh, and today, recently, I got Claire Saffitz dessert person so I tried one of her recipes for my dad's birthday there's the wonderful Claire there chocolate buttermilk cake look how good it looks so there were a few issues I thought this was gonna be easy to make because someone on Instagram said it would be it took me roughly three days <laughs> so I guessed a lot of the ingredients but it seemed to turn out okay. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. We'll go over how I made it, shall we? So, the first thing I made was the icing. The icing isn't on this page. The icing is on. So I chose the classic cream cheese frosting, as you can see here. Now, basically, I got it wrong. So I thought I'd make it a night before, so I did. Um, and the first ingredient says two sticks of unsalted butter. So I literally threw in two things of butter that I bought at the supermarket because that to me is two sticks of butter. Turns out two sticks of unsalted butter is actually 227 grams, which is only one. So the first icing I made was essentially all butter with some icing. <laughs> and it looked a bit like chocolate soup. I remade the icing. So here goes. In a stand mixer. So this is problem one and we've not even started making yet. I don't have a stand mixer. I've got a handheld whisk, which is fine, but you need a paddle attachment. Again, I don't have that. So I thought we're just gonna whisk it, you know? What could go wrong? Beat the butter and cream cheese on medium high, scraping down the sides of the bowl occasionally until the mixture is completely smooth. I don't think I did that. I think I just mixed it in with a spoon. Turn off the mixer and add the salt and all of the powdered sugar. This is what I did. Lovely mess. Beat the frosting on medium high, scraping down the sides once or twice until the frosting is light, thick and very smooth. About one minute, beat in the vanilla seeds. I used vanilla flavoring because I am too cheap to buy a vanilla pod. The fr this frosting is now ready to use. Now you can see my frosting's got chocolate in it. So then she has a little chocolate section underneath. I hope this is all interesting to you because I'm like nervous. My face is hot from making a video. Anyway, chocolate cream frosting adds six ounces. What's an ounce? Who knows? No one knows. I could have Googled it. I did it, I guessed. Melted and cooled unsweetened chocolate to the mixer bowl after adding the vanilla. Beat scraping down the sides once or twice until the frosting is smooth and streak free. My frosting was kind of smooth and a little bit streak free so we're gonna go with it we're gonna we're gonna go with this frosting which is what we did so i put it in the fridge overnight and then the next day i anyway that was too big for my friggin boots back to this page I just want to squeeze in the fact that I did exercise this day because I never exercise and I need everyone to know that occasionally I do. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. I started the cakes at about seven and I didn't stop baking till about 10. And that doesn't include putting the icing on. Preheat the oven and prepare the pans. Now, my oven is so old that it doesn't have any numbers or signs or anything on it. They've all been wiped off from the previous owner, so it's totally a guessing game. So I basically put it on. I put the oven on, don't know what temperature, don't know if it was even the right setting, but it was on. Mix the dry ingredients. 
whisk together flour, baking powder, salt, baking soda, and set aside. So we've done dry ingredients. Melt the chocolate mixture in a separate large heat proof bowl. Combine the chopped chocolate, coffee, and cocoa powder. This smelled and tasted amazing. Very happy with this part. Uh, anyway, you melt all that together and mix it up. And again, oh no, sorry. Remove from the heat and whisk in the buttermilk and vanilla and set aside. So we did that. Cream the butter, sugar, and oil in a stand mixer fitted with the paddle attachment. Combine the butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, and oil, and beat on low speed until smooth. As we know, I don't have a stand mixer nor a paddle, so what I did was I used a wooden spoon to kind of mush it all together, and then I used my whiskey things. So, yeah. I like my version, it was fun, even though it took long. We're nowhere near finished. So then you turn the page, add the eggs. Now it was three large eggs I think so I put in four little ones because again we're going off my own measurements here. Alternate the dry and wet ingredients, add about one third of the flour mixture and mix on low speed. Again the mixture I have doesn't really have speeds, it's got like fast and then super fast. So we went with super fast. And ha add half of the cooled chocolate mixture mixing until incorporated then add the remaining flour in two additions alternating with the remaining chocolate mixture. Fill the pans and bake the layers. And then I did mine for 20 minutes, opened it up, they were still wobbly, half an hour, still wobbly, 40 minutes, the top was burnt because again my oven is atrocious um, but the inside of the cake was done. So I went to bed and I woke up at 6 the next day to then ice the cakes. Blah blah blah. Stack and frost the cake. So then you do the crumb coat which I've never done before. I normally just slather on and hope for the best but I thought you know what you've gone this far Taylor it's seven o'clock in the morning you're gonna do a crumb coat. Did the crumb coat put it in the fridge for 20 minutes brought it back out ice it again made it look a little bit fancy and put it back in the fridge. That's not what she says but that's the end of that story. So yeah. That is the end of this. Would I try it again? Yeah, I would, because it was really, like, the icing was unbelievable. Hopefully you liked this video. Um, I probably look very different to the, all the other ones on this channel because I was very young and happy and COVID didn't exist back then. So isn't that nice? Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you would like to buy Dessert Person yourself, there'll be a link in the bio and... Yeah, let me know if I should make more of these. Bye. Um, but um, why I'm diving into this is so boring. And tasty stuff. Speak, Taylor. Um, turn off the mixture. Mix. Uh, you can buy the book from Amazon below. <laughs> blah blah blah.